All right, Shalom Akim. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakwadash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. And this lesson is going to go into health and how we should take it more seriously. And it comes by way of this video, which I've been watching a lot of this, um, this, this guy's videos. It's called The Minister of Wellness, Nathaniel Jordan. And, um, he has a 12th series, uh, a 12 part series of what he calls the power of the G bomb. And, um, basically this guy, his backstory is that, you know, he was, a, um, a cop from, you know, from the few videos I did watch of him. He was a um, cop out there in Missouri and he's basically talking about how he was overweight and, um, how shitty he used to eat. You know, so I'm guessing, you know, he probably, who knows, he probably had a heart attack, whatever the case may be. Now he's wholeheartedly into wellness. And in this first episode, he goes into um greens. That's why it's called the power of the G-bomb, which um you have, he had the chart up there. He goes into greens, beans, uh, what is it? Greens, beans, mushrooms and seeds i think it's one more it might it might be fruits you know but he's breaking it down of how the messed up mindset of people in this world in which he he admits it to you know humble brother you know he he admits it how of how you know it, it's just the culture of our people you know so-called african-americans of which you know they grow up on a uh, as a carnivore, basically, you know, they believe that's the healthier way of life, eating meat and drinking milk, because that's what this devil has taught them. But what he goes into is he basically giving better understanding of um the things that we're taught in this society, which we already know. But he goes and he breaks it down on a more scientific level, you know, and how it's wrong and how we should be eating, you know. And he goes into the myth of, of protein, how people think they, they need to eat meat for protein, not knowing a little do they know that if you eat greens, which even according to the scriptures, the scriptures do say you can eat meat, but what meat that you have to cut? Meat that you have to cut and that's cloven footed, right? So really, you eat meat for protein, but he was even going into how the main protein comes from what? The real protein comes from what? The grass, the plants, the vegetables, because that's what those animals eat. And he and then he was even going into how um he made beautiful point of how you, you look at like apes and Gorillas and horses, giraffes, very strong, you know, very muscular built animals. And they don't eat meat. They just eat. He was even, he was saying how, um, I believe giraffes, no, no, apes eat 10 pounds of uh, vegetation a day. And how you actually get more benefits of eating greens. That is good for your brain, good for your bones, good for your heart, than just eating meat, which is the opposite. Okay? And we understand through the scriptures, which let me just grab a scripture, because the scriptures even say, um, what is that, Deuteronomy 28? And what is it going with Deuteronomy twenty eight and twenty eight? The Lord shall smite thee. With madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. 
and thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. Now we know, of course, on the on the um, we always speak of it, of course, on the um, you know, the physical level, how we, even the scriptures say we are yet this day in our captivity, but even on a mental level, you know, on a mental level as far as well, we speak about that too, but on a mental level as far as food, how we are still oppressed evermore, because our diet, like the brother Kalabo always goes into, is based off of what slavery. It's based off of the scrap. It's based off of, you know, chitlins and pork and all types of abominations. Okay. But that's not how we, that's, that's not how originally we, we ate. You know, we more so eat what? Of the grass of the field. Even when you look at the Mediterranean diet, it's based off of what? Lentils, chickpeas. Um, you know, and things of that nature. Whole grains and, and things of that nature. Okay. So yeah, man. It also makes me think of how our people are messed up because here it is. You know, what he touches on it in a lot of his videos too. Is here it is. You know, let's say, for example, you might have a loved one that died of heart disease, you know, so everybody, you know, your family and your mom, your dad, they crying over this person, really feeling sad. But they'll go back and, you know, they'll carry on the same tradition that got their loved one in that, in that predicament, you know, so it's like, here it is. It's, it's, it's sort of like they're crying over death, you know, but they never really appreciated life, you know. So that same loved one that they're crying over, they're following their same footsteps. So the pattern continues. This is how we know that we are the people of the Heavenly Father. You know. The pattern continues as we just read. They should be oppressed evermore and group at noonday. Our people don't know what the hell is going on. And even though things are showed to them in their face, all right, your great grandma might have died of lung cancer or high blood pressure or kidney failure. Here it is, you going, you you following in the same footsteps and expecting and expecting to get a different outcome. You know? But the scriptures say, man, the scriptures tell us. Because us of the whole full elect, that's why it's beautiful that we have this truth, man. You know? And, um, hey, even King David, which let me grab this real quick. In Psalms 143, this is a beautiful prayer, man. It says, Hear me speedily, O Yahweh, my spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. You know? And spiritually, those that went, go down into the pit is those that have no understanding. All right, they are they are no, they are dead spiritually. All right, that's why the scriptures say. Proverbs three and eleven. I'll start at, my son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be wary of his correction. Because when you come into this truth, you understand. Um, when you come into this truth, you take life more seriously. Let's put it like that. And you understand that this life in itself is a testament of why we shouldn't have went off from the Heavenly Father, right? For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as he fathered the son in whom he delighteth. He delighteth. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom. Okay, so happy is the man that learns, basically learns from what the Lord is putting in front of you. That's what we're here for. We're here to learn from our mistakes. And the man that getteth understanding. 
So now us, now us of the hopeful leg, we get an understanding. Okay, I'm not going to do, you know, I'm not going to eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. But even more, even past that, you know, I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to work out, you know. I'm going to try to, uh, I'm going to implement fasting. You know, these things were a part of, these things are part of our culture, our history. You know. You got the Day of Atonement. You know, and then, you know, we fast um, even, we fast even, uh, well, we should be fasting even on other days, uh, days other than that. You know, for one, first and foremost, because we know it builds us in the spirit and then also for our health, for our health. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver. All right. It doesn't the scripture say death is better than a, a life of continual sickness. OK, and the gain thereof than fine gold, because what now that you have better health, you have what um, more energy, more vitality, more time to serve the heavenly father. You know. And really, time is better than gold, you know, so that that uh, scriptures reign true. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are the ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. You know, and this is why we look forward to the kingdom of heaven. You know, but the scriptures say this is why we look forward to the kingdom of heaven for a better mindset. But even prior to the kingdom of heaven, you know, we as being um, heirs of the Lord's righteousness, as being the next rulers. All right. The next um, rulers um, of the kingdom of heaven. You know, of the kingdom of the heavenly father, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. You know, we have to we already have to have that mindset. OK. Eating good, you know. Which, hey, brothers, you know, brothers getting it down as far as the spiritual, which is beautiful, of course. But, you know, as brothers always go into, it's more than just calling the so-called white man the devil. It encompasses life, life in general. You know how to eat. Um, you know, uh, dealing with the herbs, dealing with your household. You know, dealing with these heathens, how to cultivate the land. All of that is, is, is written in our laws. Because the Lord put it, the Lord gave this, the Lord created this earth for our sakes, as it says in uh, Second Ezra 6 chapter. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is everyone that retaineth her. You know, so I just um suggestion brothers could check these lessons, these videos out. He goes into a lot of um, like I said, scientific, and um just makes a lot of great points, which we can, which we can um validate it through the scriptures. You know, so with that, Lord willing, you all can edify. Hold on one second. I might want to grab Salah here. One quick one. Cause this this is a good one um that you know solidifies how we should be eating anyway. This is Sirach thirty one and I'll start at fifteen. Judge not thy neighbor by thyself and be discreet in every point. Then it goes on to say, Eat as it becometh a man. Those things which are set before thee and devour not, lest thou be hated. You know? So as the old as the saying goes, man, you're supposed to uh eat to live, not live to eat. You know, and I always stuff in your face every five seconds, man. That's the American way. You know, really you only gotta eat probably like once or twice a day. You know, if you're eating a and then after a while, you notice that your stomach gets small, you don't have to eat that much. Plus, it'll help. In the days to come. You know. And that's where that wisdom comes in. 
It says, leave all first for manner's sakes and be not insatiable, lest thou offend. Which that's going into, you know, if you're being around brothers, don't be the first to, you know what I'm saying, uh, dig in. When thou sittest among many, reach not thy hand out first of all. A very little is sufficient for a man well nurtured, and he fetcheth not his wind short upon his bread. Short upon his bed. You know, that's another thing with Jake. They got that steep apnea. You know, you know, you probably got a sibling or family member that's snoring loud as hell. That's because they got messed up eating habits, man. You know, sound sleep cometh of moderate eating. And if you look at it, you know, the older generation, like I know when I was younger, my grandmother. She used to feed us supper or dinner at six o'clock, you know, which makes sense because, you know, you probably take it down at like eight. And now what? Goes into sound sleep coming for moderate eating. He riseth early, which back, you know, not even in ancient world, but, you know, back in the uh, 30s and 40s, you know, our people where they was working on the, on the plantations or down south for sharecropping, they was getting up four or five in the morning. So that just makes sense. Sound sleep cometh for moderate eating. He riseth early and his wits are with him. But the pain of watching and, and shoulder and pangs of the belly, you know, which even the, um, the apothecary in the camp, the brother Shalomar, he was, goes into how... um. 80% of your immune system comes from what? Your stomach. You know? So the more you eat, the more you're messing yourself up. A with an unsatiable man. All right. So that was it, man. Let me see. Okay, it says, uh, and if thou shalt be forced to eat, arise, go forth and vomit, and thou shalt have rest. You know, hey, so with that, Lord willing, you, I can ratify, shalom to the elect.